very special yearly occasion of our Epiphany Valley. And I'm delighted you were here and uh, hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed it and seeing the kings in their new costumes this year. Very in with the leopard and tiger and all uh, really nice style, style and kings. Uh, we are about to participate in the foretaste of the Heavenly Banquet from a theological perspective, which means we're going to celebrate the Holy Communion. And it is, or the Holy Eucharist, whatever name you know it by. And it is the teaching of the Episcopal Church that all baptized persons are not only welcome, but encouraged to take part. So be you Roman Catholic, Lutheran, Presbyterian, Baptist, Methodist, UCC, you name it, you're not only welcome, but really encouraged to be here. We receive in both kinds in the body and blood of Christ, if you'd like to be able to. We receive from a common cup in the Episcopal tradition. So after you've received the, 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 the wafer or the body, uh, the cup will come by. Please help guide it to your lips. If you do not want to receive from the common cup, but you want to intink, which means to dip, you may do that. Uh, so hold your wafer and, and do that. If you want to come forward and not receive, but you want a blessing, Cross yourself thusly when you come up, and you will receive a blessing. I like to be able to communicate people by name, so if I don't know your first name, please do tell me so I may communicate you thusly. Do we have any people who need gluten-free? Do I see any hands gluten-free? Is there anyone here present today who has difficulty with movement and would like communion brought back to them where they are seated? And a few quick announcements. Um, Linda, would you like to do the food for food first? Good morning. Today is Food for Food Sunday. We have incredible soups, stews, um, all kinds of things that are frozen in pork containers in Shaper Hall. Take, come and buy one, two, three, four, however many you want. They're five dollars each. There's a couple loaves of bread left, which are homemade bread. Um, all the um, all the money that is there that we get will be used by InReach to buy food cards for people in our congregation who need food. So this doesn't go into the general fund or anything. Everything that you give us, is, it will be used to buy uh, um, food cards. So that's why we call it food, food for Food. So come and buy your lunch, your dinner. You can take it home, put it in your, on your stove in the microwave and heat it up. It's all homemade and it, they're just wonderful, wonderful different kinds of soups back there in Schaefer Hall as you come in the door on your right. Okay, please come and buy. Thank you. Thank you. And a reminder that there's coffee hour every week in Schaefer Hall, so go through the double doors, turn to the left at the end of the hallway is Schaefer Hall, and we'd love to see you there and be able to welcome you. Um, second, after this service today, we're going to take down all of our Christmas decorations. So if you can stay and please help take things down in box, more hands needed, um, we'll get this done quickly. And so if you can please give us some time, it would be wonderful. On the center table in the narthex, that room right up there, uh, on the back side of the table is a description of foyer dinners. Foyer dinners are a way in which both couples and single folks here in the congregation can socialize together. Um, the first church that I served nearly 30 years ago in Stanford used this because we had three services and nobody knew who anybody was. We had a number of um, single folk who didn't feel that there were occasions for them to be able to do things. And what you do is you sign up for a six-month period, and your names will go in from the different, uh, from the 8th and 10:30 service, and a group of 8 to 12 people is created, and that is your group for six months. And you meet once a month at a host's home. Um, so if it's you know you, you, single people don't have space, they can use Schaefer Hall as long as you're not bumping up against somebody else's for your dinner. You get together, the host makes. The, the main meal, and everybody else brings whatever they want to drink and brings the sides and all that. Generally, the rules are you don't talk shop, you don't need to talk about church, and you don't try to outdo anybody and make some phenomenal meal. It's a chance for people to get together to just simply talk and get to know each other. So if you're interested, that's on the, on the table midway in the back, and uh, hope that many of you will sign up. If you have any questions, you can talk to me about it, or Linda March, and she'll have information also. Is there anything I'm forgetting that needs to be said this week? Don't forget if you are a chair of a committee, I need your information in by the 10th of January to sue for annual meeting. For the reports, annual meeting is the 26th. 
One service only on the 26th at 9 a.m. Here's, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the kingdom, and you are exalted as head over all. <clears throat>
come. It is Christ who bids us to meet him here and to call our welcome.
Merci.
find the Christ, the light from light. Lead you also in your pilgrimage to find the Lord. And the wisdom of God, the love of God, and the grace of God. Strengthen you to be Christ's hands and heart in this world. In the name of the one holy, undivided Trinity. Amen. Hymn 127. Thank you. 